Hey everyone, Miss Go Electric here. I'm in Birmingham, Michigan because we are at the Woodward Dream Cruise. This goes all the way from Pontiac, Michigan, all the way down to Ferndale, actually even further into Detroit if you want. But essentially what this is, is everyone's bringing out their classic cars, cars of all kinds, to show off and drive up and down Woodward. So there are a lot of manufacturer booths scattered around this whole street. Let's go check it out. All right, first up we have the Chevy Display and they have a ton of their EVs here. So we have the Silverado EV RST. This here has available 664 horsepower, a 200 kilowatt hour battery, up to 350 kilowatt charging. And this is the first time I've actually seen this in person, so it's pretty neat. One thing that's really unique about this vehicle is it has a multi-flex tailgate. So essentially what that means is there's a lot of different ways you can pull down that tailgate. The mid gate actually pulls up. So if you wanted to slide a kayak or something extremely long to have more bed space, you can utilize that back passenger area for cargo. And check out these insanely huge 24 inch wheels. So at first glance, they don't look like anything special but all of this is enclosed so very aerodynamic drag is a very high point in evs right at the wheel this hood also pops open for a lot more cargo space now it's hard to see on the interior because the windows are all darkened but i can kind of see that the interior looks very similar to the hummer ev styling I know who you are. <laughs> I will. I'm willing to open this door for you. Oh, that would be awesome! Thank you so much. That would be amazing. <laughs> I appreciate that. Wow, this has some nice bright blue stitching on the interior of the seats, and it has red piping. We have a really big display in the center stack and then one nice big instrument cluster. It looks like in front of the driver, there's also a head up display. Something to note is that this is the RST version. So you'll see here on the steering wheel, a couple of buttons. One in particular is that this does have the available Super Cruise on it. It looks like it has the towing package on here as well. This is also gonna have the wide open Watts mode. So this is gonna be able to go zero to 60 in some insane amount. I'll post that on the screen. Well, this is a really big truck, but I will say it looks very capable. I'm really excited for this to come out and I hope that I get to take a drive in it pretty soon. But there are more EVs here. So let's head on down here and take a look. Now here we have the Chevy Blazer EV SS. This is closer to the top of the line version that they're gonna offer here in the Blazer EV. Let's take a look inside here. The Blazer EV can get up to 290 miles of range. Let's take a peek inside. This is a really bright red interior, really cool. And what's kind of interesting is if you look at the texture on the seats, that perforation is in the shape of what looks to be a lightning bolt. Looks quite spacious as well. The rear seats have a good amount of leg room, it looks like. And it looks like they're using the same infotainment screen here. We have a nice big one in the center stack and a smaller one in front of the driver, as well as a head-up display available. Really nice interior. Look at that trim. Even on the vents, the vents look very cool. Looks like they have here an Ultium charging station. It is a level two, it seems. There's no information about it, but it's really cool to show off that they have some EVs here. All right, now that we've checked out the Silverado EV and the Blazer EV, let's head down to the Bolt in the Bolt EUV. 
fun fact is they built the Bolt and the Bolt EUV right in the town over from where our studio is in Orion Township. The Bolt EV is one of the most affordable EVs that you can buy on the market right now. This has a 65 kilowatt hour battery and up to 259 miles of range. This here is the Bolt EUV, which is essentially the big brother of the Bolt EV. It has a little bit more cargo space, a same 65 kilowatt hour battery pack. This also has a pretty neat interior though. I wanna show you guys this. This contrast is really neat. There's yellow stitching all down the seats and this interior is a lighter gray color. I think this interior looks awesome. Now this is the Bolt EUV, which means it's a utility vehicle, but the one thing that I wish they would have done with the EUV is give it all wheel drive because we could use it here in Michigan. Now, there is a lot more to see here at the Woodward Dream Cruise. I want to thank Chevy for allowing us to see inside the Blazer EV and the Silverado EV. But let's get down the street and check out some more cars. Although most of the action happens out on the main drag, we were able to spot some really cool EVs on the side streets as well. We are coming in through the rear entrance of the Ford display here at the Woodward Dream Cruise and look what we ran into, a Walmart Plus branded e-transit. This thing is all electric and look how big it is. All right, let's head into the Ford display. I'm already seeing some goodies here. We have a Mustang Mach-E right here, a couple of them, actually a GT and there's some camo vehicles here. It looks like that's probably the next generation Mustang. All right, we got a really beautiful trio here. Actually, a Quattro. Ford brought out their full EV product line, the E-Transit, F-150 Lightning, Mustang Mach-E, and F-100 Illuminator. This one looks like it's the Pro Edition. All right, look here, the last time we saw this, we were with Sandy Monroe and we did a tour of the F-150 Lightning factory. Really cool to see this on display. Got a little bit of storage space and then a peek into the inverter. The outside looks very vintage, but once you take a peek inside, it's a big mixture because this has the Mach-E touchscreen infotainment, the SYNC 4 display. You'll notice that the steering wheel will look familiar as well. So cool. Very unexpected, we're seeing the canoe electric van out here on the Woodward Avenue Dream Cruise. That's insane, <laughs> I did not expect that. Look at the bus says cruising. It's cruising down Woodward. And look here, we have a BMW i8 coming up. The Roadster, it's got its top down. Typically here at the Woodward Dream Cruise, you see a ton of old vehicles, like classic cars that are all gas powered, but more and more we're starting to see more EVs. And today I've seen quite a few Mach-E's, lots of Teslas, so this is a good sign. I think probably in about five years, it's gonna be pretty impressive how many EVs are out on this street. All right, I see a Ford F-150 Lightning pulling in. Let's see if it's anyone we know. Hi! How are you? Good. It's Chad from EV Pulse. Well, this might be unexpected, but I'm actually in the F-150 Lightning, driving it up Woodward Avenue in the Woodward Dream Cruise. This is actually my first time driving the F-150 Lightning. I've ridden it before, but I'm really excited. Let's see what this has. I know we're not gonna go really fast because guess what? We get a ton of traffic. This is expected with the Woodward Dream Cruise, but that's all right. 
we'll try to get out in a little bit of an open road on one of the side streets. I will say the difference between this one pedal drive in the Mach-E versus here in the F-150 Lightning is it takes a second for it to start slowing down. I feel like it's a little bit quicker to slow the vehicle down in the Mach-E, but we're in pretty much stop and go traffic. So we're gonna have to test it out a little bit more as we go. It is one pedal though. It's coming to a stop. One thing I have noticed already on this is the pedal modulation, like the power delivery is much smoother than the Mach-E. <laughs> like the Mach-E is in a normal drive mode, quite aggressive when you are in low speed situations and the brake, it's very grabby. So it's kind of a lot of back and forth, whereas this is really smooth. Well, as I've been cruising along, it is a very comfortable riding position. It's the seating surfaces are also, although they're cloth, they are very comfortable. So I'm pretty impressed with that. And although this is still a low level F-150 Lightning, I think this is just enough for a buyer like this looking to get into an entry level all electric truck. It is exceptionally quiet in here and even on Woodward Avenue, when we're surrounded by vehicles that make tons of noise, it's uh, much better than being in some other vehicles that I've been on in Woodward Avenue. So I will say they've done a great job with keeping the cabin quiet in here too. Oh, my tires are squealing a little bit. Plenty of pickup for a massive pickup truck like this. Very smooth. Something I wanna point out is that I've spent a lot of time in the Mustang Mach-E and with that giant screen, I think I actually prefer something smaller like this, more manageable. And I have the buttons underneath here that are climate controls and music controls that have a tactile feel. So I can just press a button and not have to worry if I'm actually pressing it on a touch screen. So this setup, I do prefer more than the large touch screen SYNC 4 that they have in the other models of the F-150 Lightning and the Mach-E. I feel like anybody could get in this and just drive away. It has a lot of the same parts as a traditional F-150 combustion engine. So the learning curve isn't uh, too extreme. I do want to try out the upgraded versions, the higher trim levels, and I think I need to take this on a longer driving experience to really test it out, but so far I'm pretty impressed. It's pretty cool to be able to drive a vehicle like this, the F-150 Lightning, in the Woodward Dream Cruise, which is typically full of internal combustion engine classic cars, and finally show people the future is here. Well, we're wrapping up the day here at the Woodward Dream Cruise, and surprisingly enough, we saw quite a few EVs. I think within the next five years, we're gonna see more and more EVs out on Woodward for this event. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, drive, fly, ride. Go electric.